black. I'm gonna plow all that snow flurries down in Florida. Three, two, seven. Shh. Fifty-four. Pipe down in this little. Shutters. Just came in from the hardware store. This is the same two by four cedar that we used on the stairs, the ladder, except for this is a two by six. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this for the kitchen, holding up the countertop. Put the sink on it. And these were a little bit not so great. He gave me, uh, instead of seven something, they were $5 each, just for asking. Now, I didn't show you the construction of these, but these are lasagnas. Oh. Down on the floor, this is what I've got so far for the kitchen countertop. I don't know if you'd call it a cabinet or just something to hold up the countertops, but I've got that, this black piece, that's the form for the concrete. Up here, I've got three more two befores. They're kind of rough. Now I've got to make legs out of these. I need four legs and maybe some more bracing. And for that end, I've got to cut another two foot. I've got to make up a two by six. So that's what we've got left. Turning the two by four into two by six. I'm gonna rip this, screw and glue that together. And I've got my two by six. This will be on the back side, you'll never see it. So these two by sixes are about $13 each. I only use these scraps and do it for free. Gluing it and screwing it. As soon as the glue dries, it's better be ready to go. Are you chewing on another blackberry episode? You've got enough to make blackberry ice cream or maybe a blackberry milkshake. What do you think about that? Do we have any ice cream? Mm -mm. Do you think we should go get some ice cream? Mm -hmm. And find a little blacks? Well, I don't know. Do you have enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make some, can't we? Some blackberry ice cream? Mm. Daddy, think what I'm going to get, Tom. You've got something on your face, Blackberry. You don't care? <laughs> well, <laughs> On your face? Huh. How about your face? Yours is clean. You want to go to the store and get some ice cream? Mm -hmm. Me too. Let's go. The next day, and this glue is dry. That's now a 2 by 6 I'm going to do a little sanding on it. Matter of fact, i got a lot of sanding to do. All these pieces need some sanding. Started. You can tell the two different boards, but it's going to be on the back side. Nobody's ever going to notice that unless you tell them. Here's the basic frame for the kitchen countertop. We're going to put concrete on top of this and this piece of plywood. This is this was the master bunk out of the camper. Took it out yesterday. It was from way back in March 2008. That was right before I started filming stuff for YouTube. That was right when I started my YouTube channel. I think it was December 2008. So you just missed this build. Now we're going to rip this in half. This is going to be what holds the concrete for the kitchen countertop. Okay, 
And on the countertop, I lightly sanded the front, getting rid of any kind of splinters, and the bottom. And then this top won't matter, it's gonna have concrete. So I'm about to drill three holes here, glue it and screw it. Then this is gonna be the form. The plywood will sit on top of this, then the form's gonna sit right up here like this. And what happens, you pour concrete up to this level. After it dries, you snap this front off, and you've got a concrete countertop. That's what I'm working on right now. So when I put this little frame together, I've got these three inch decking screws. Those are the sand screws we put in episode one, putting the floor together. Now we're gonna put the uh, countertop frame together with them. Whoops. That one, gravity got it. So I flipped the frame over and I put a tube four in. This, the plywood is screw to that. We'll flip it back over, put the plywood on. But first, I might go ahead and put the legs on. The legs are going to go on just like this. And then somewhere there'll be a brace that goes across. There'll be a shelf here to put whatever on. I'm gonna put some bracing for a bottom shelf. I might flip the table over, don't know yet. About to cross that bridge now. Okay, the legs are now on. I've got it turned upright. I guess we can either put the braces on the bottom or the plywood on the top. But first, remember that ice cream we talked about yesterday? I just made me a Neapolitan milkshake. Gotta take a little bit of break. Take me a milkshake break. Here's what I have so far. The bracing's now in. I might carry it up to the house, see how it fits in there. The wife thought it was a little bit too big, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too just right. Ooh, and out here in the uh, new workshop, I've, I inherited a TV. The oldest girl left it when she moved into the tiny house. I'm gonna play you a little bit of theme music. I'm gonna see if you can name in the comments, see if you can tell me what show this comes from. Ready? Is that enough? Leave me a comment. So this is a good wood shop where the block wall meets the wood wall. It's got a little ledge. That ledge would be good for putting like your uh, wood glue, your boxes of screws. I should show you what I'm talking about. The wood glue shelf. Like a box of screws shelf. Oh, and also, I brought the gun rack in from the camper. I'm gonna hang that on the wall. That could be a gun rack. It could be, uh, you could hang your cords there. You could hang, uh, I don't know, there's several things. More good place to put your boxes of screws. Mm -hmm. And we're going to the tiny house. I put the, uh, I don't know what to call that thing, the uh, countertop frame. It's out in the tiny house and there's a slight problem with the plumbing. I gotta move one board. Uh, here, come go with me. And the kids have got this little boy on a little raft in that bucket of water and I thought man that's just too cute right there look at him in there he looks kind of like an alien at this angle y'all keep an eye on him in case he falls off mm -hmm. now can he swim he's a little young no, no. you don't know we'll keep an eye on him okay don't leave him in there alone okay okay I'm gonna show you what I was talking about that back brace the bottom that one that goes across see the water supply lines uh, see the clean out so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move the board from the back position to here so that I give it more clearance it's gonna work out just right if we do that easy fix and the good news is I didn't glue those on they're just screwed on that's the best news this is the countertop in position the strap holds it square the pipes are clear there will be a valve here, a valve there. The drain goes here. Down here, this will be a bottom shelf. This will be the concrete countertop. Sink will probably center up with this window. Gives you some counter space over here. And it gives you some counter space over here. 
And that's what I've got so far. And yes, the bathroom door does clear it. By the time the countertop gets on there, it'll be about right to here. So we got a good, what's that, five, six inches of clearance. All right, good job. This started out as two fish, and now it's more than two fish. See that tree right there? That's my magnolia. And I got a blackberry same size, maybe bigger than that tree. Look at that blackberry. That's a blackberry. Now it's gone. Last night I picked up some towel. Not for the countertop. This is towel for the bathroom floor. Well, these were on clearance. These were not. That's going to go in the doorway. Kind of like a threshold. We might run these little brick ones right through the middle of the bathroom. I'm going to take some of those back. That's too many. But it's okay. Oh, also, check this out. A little tiny cute sink. Cute sink's going to go right here, centered up with this window, inside of the concrete. Pour the concrete first, put the sink in. I'm getting excited about this sink concrete countertop thing and the bathroom tile floor and this is what the bathroom floor might want to look like got some variety going on small square tiles little bricks there and then a large rectangular got a little threshold that's it in the flesh Just like that. Too cute. Looks like one of the kids took a avocado pit, put it in water. Look at that root. We might be going to have another avocado tree. Mama cat and her five little ones. Gardening update week eight. And that cucumber is looking good. And that squash is looking good. I think we're about to pick some squash. We'll find a cucumber first. Look how green that corn is. Woo! I found a the other day. Okay, we'll show it to him. I can't find it. You can't find it? It's like stuck up in the... It's stuck up in the... A fox, um, cucumber. You found a big one. I didn't see that last week at all. Week eight and we are having some cucumber fun. That girl found... Oh, there's a little one right there. Look at that baby. Well, Got a flower on its tail. And there's one in it. And there's one right beside it. Oh, we done caught three keepers. Wait, we're not fishing. <gasps> there's one in You're finding them? Oh, she found another one. Okay. They are, yeah. look at the blooms in there. They are all over the place this week. Loaded with blooms. Some squash that may be getting too big. You want to go ahead and pull that one? Sure. Twist it and pull it, twist it. There you go. Pull it. Twist it, twist, twist it. There you go, give it, there you go. Let me try to find. Give Careful, it a time. She's got another one. Pull it. There's one. We gotta get you a bucket, girl. All right, mm -hmm. stop what you're doing. Let's go get that bucket. Mm -hmm. Pull it. And there's another one. Can I pick this pick one? Pick it, yeah, pull it. Okay, that one's about ready. Oh, there's one. That's Look at that little guy. That's one. Look, Dad. Uh huh, cutie. Close. Zucchini check. There's a dead zucchini up in there. Oh, good. Get out of here. That one's got about three good look ones on it. If you look right there, there's a caterpillar. I think he's having some squash. Oh, he's rude. Daddy, think I could make that one? He thinks it's lunchtime. Chewing on some squash. That's probably the best example of watermelon that I've got. There's a couple more little watermelon. There's some onion. And if we look down here on the end, we've got some sunflower. You want to stand by that sunflower so I can see how tall it is? 
Go stand beside it. Let's call it waist high. It's taller than a dog, a short dog. And this is about how tall the corn is, almost head high. And here's the okra, not much bigger than last week. Slow going. That one's the red stripe variety. The knuckles are red. He's trying to find the squash, I guess. You're on the wrong row. This is the corn row. See? 